Live from the Big Beefy Man Cave in New Bedford, Massachusetts. This is the YouTube channel vlog show in which video games, flash game show gameplays, along with sports and wrestling news, are the norm. This is the YouTube channel vlog show of positivity, good times, and fun. This is Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. And now, here is the host of the show, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, Big Beefy E himself, Mr. Eric M. Lima. Hey, everyone. Thank you, Mr. Announcer, for that wonderful intro. What's going on, everybody? It's Eric Lima, the, the perpetrator of these shenanigans, and Big Beefy E himself from the Big Beefy Man Cave here in New Bedford, Massachusetts, coming at you with yet another episode of Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. This is episode 41, and this is the third edition also of the Virtually Purchased Acquisitions. Now, one of you guys are wondering, I'm sure some of you guys are wondering, it's not one of you guys, it could be somebody, one buddy, I don't know. Um, one buddy, that's a new word. Um, <laughs> maybe some of you guys are wondering, what is Virtually Purchased Acquisitions, Eric? What do you mean by that? Well, it's basically stuff I, you know, it's it's, it's basically stuff I bought online, and uh, we just, uh, yeah, that's basically what it is. Stuff that I bought online. And that, is a cool thing so i have so i decided well why the heck not right you know um i figured out I, I, I call it the vpas you know it's like you got the uh mtv uh, video music awards or vmas why not vpas virtually purchase acquisitions stuff that i bought on amazon or ebay or any other website that i'm able to buy stuff on and that's the uh, the main thing the main key so i just got a package in from ebay today and we're going to open it up and find out what it is. And, uh, so, basically, here we go. Let's see if I can open this thing up. Open this thing up. Ooh, I think I know what this is. I think I know what, I think I know what this is. And it smells uh, rubbery. Let's see what I got in here. It's another t-shirt. And it's the Three Stooges. I can even tell it. It's the it's the Three Stooges, and it is the Three Stooges. Let's see. I got showed the shirt. It says spread out. But, you know. Yep, this is the Three Stooges spread out. <laughs> Love this shirt. This shirt's pretty cool. Right? <laughs> like spread out. Hey Mo. Hey Larry. No. 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 Woo, 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 woo. Hey Mo! Hey Mo! Sweetly Mo! Hey Mo! Hey Larry! I can't even think, but nothing's happening! Shut up, you mugs! You see that? Oh man, this this shirt is really cool. I can't wait to wear it. Yeah, this shirt I could have bought this shirt two years ago when COVID hit. That way we when we people can name it all spread out. <laughs> and this Mo picking Larry and Curly's nose with his pinky, <laughs> the pinky nose picker. <laughs> I don't know they when they like, they got the, the the slap, the eye poke, the eye poke block, you know. Uh, I don't even want to call this the, the, I call it the flinging fist, you know, you, sl you slap and, uh, <laughs> or something like that. And you got the, the pinky, the pinky nose picker, you got the, uh, the fish hook, the fish, fish mouth hook, and you grab on my mouth and grab your, grab, grab Curly or Larry by the mouth, I got, I had to come up with some new names of those moves uh, that Three Stooges always do. It's really cool. It's like, oh my gosh, you know. So, yep, got my spread out shirt. There you go, spread out. Hey, Mo, hey, hey, Mo, hey, Larry. Look at that. Look at this straight jacket. Where'd you get that? From the trunk. Well, put it up there. <laughs> oh, man, they all that they were trying to fix the house, uh, fix the, the pipe, and then they're wrecking the house doing it. Oh, man. One thing about the three students, when they try to fix something, they go all out. It's like, we'll do it. They're the type of team that will do whatever it takes to fix something, even if they tear the house apart. That's pretty funny. 
of the Three Stooges, man. Let me tell you. Look at that spread out shirt. Let me just, uh... Hey, what do you guys think, huh? What do you guys think? Spread out! <laughs> this is so cool. This is a really cool, uh, pretty cool shirt. Oh, these guys don't wear it. Hey, spread out. Hey, you like the Three Stooges. Yes, I like the Three Stooges. I've been liking the Three Stooges since I was a kid, for minute's sake. You know, every, you know, my introduction to the Three Stooges was, oh, back in the 80s. When my dad and I, we were spending time, uh, you know, when my dad was still, when my father was a single father at the time working and New Year's Eve, my father and I decided, you know, because he used to sing a, a lullaby for me to go to bed, well, before I go to bed when I was a kid. He's he singing the, uh, the B.I. Bicky Bo song. I found out that was a swinging the alphabet by the Three Stooges. That's how I was introduced to the Three Stooges. When you go, B A B B B B I B B B O B O B B O B U B O B B I B O B O C A C C E C C I C C I C O S O C C I O C U S O B I C C I S O S O. And but the only thing swinging the alphabet, he did the the Mo did the consonants, not the um the vowels. We tried to do the vowels like E A A E E E A E K. You know, like I was like. It's going in the alphabets. And so I was like, oh, you know, my dad introduced me to how he uh, knows a song. It was for the Three Stooges. So we watched the, um, so we watched the Three Stooges Marathon. It had um, a 3D thing with uh, Shemp. It had part of my backfire and spooks. That's a, and then when I saw Curly, it's like, that's how I got introduced to the Three Stooges when I was a kid. And I used to try to reenact the Three Stooges, and then when my dad married my mom in 88, my mother gets annoyed by that. It was like, back then, all women were annoyed by the Three Stooges. You know, it's like, it's like they, don't, they don't want to teach our men to be stupid. <laughs> oh, it's, that's too funny. It's too funny. He's like, you know, see, I don't... I, this, this is the reason why I don't have a girlfriend, ladies and gentlemen. I got the three stooges. <laughs> woo, 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 woo. Hey, Mom. Hey, Ma. Hey, Larry. Look at the grouse. Oh, wise guy. <laughs> uh, my favorite Curly. Uh, my first Curly. Introduced to Curly. I uh, played dutiful but dumb. And he had a fight with the oyster. <laughs> he did. He put pepper on the cracker. What's in there? <laughs> I chew. This is tight. No, no, no. And he squir squirts the soup stuff at him, and then Curly goes get a gun and shoots it. It's hilarious. Now you stop that. Whap. <laughs> yep. So. <laughs> yep. So this is it. The three stooges spread out shirt. Man, this is pretty cool, huh? <laughs> spread. All right, you mug. Spread out. <laughs> Where you going, Mo? Get getting the tools. What tools? The tools we've been using last we've been losing we've been using for the last ten years. Oh, those tools. Yeah, and everything we got the lost stooges with Ted Healy. Yeah, I got the three stooges marathon I got the three stooges on, on DVD. Usually I watch the three stooges marathon every year. Why why do that now? I got the everything all thing on DVD. Maybe I should if um let me see. Oh holy crap, I just realized something. Holy crap, I just realized something. Hold on just a second here. Let me look at the calendar here. I just realized that New Year's Day is on a Sunday. My day off. That means I can actually... Uh, New Year's Day is on a Sunday. This coming in, in 2023. New Year's Eve is on a Saturday night. You know what this means. You know what this means. That means I can stay up late. After New Year's Day, I can stay up late watching the Three Stooges Marathon. I can do that. It's going to be so awesome. So, this will, this could be my first New Year's Day off in years. Would you believe that? I, I can't believe it either. This is so cool. Yeah, you know, yeah, excuse me, just a second. I was like, I was like, holy crap. New Year's Eve's on a Saturday. Christmas Eve's on that Saturday. Obviously, I always have Christmas off, you know. But this is this will this coming New Year's Day on the 20, uh, 2023, January first, two thousand twenty-three, 
will be my first day off. My first, no, 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 my not first day off. My first New Year's Day off in years. How cool is that? How cool is that? Can't wait. They have Sundays off, so yeah. So I have uh, Christmas is on a Sunday this year, and New Year's Day is going to be on a Sunday this year. Oh, uh, just I mean, two thousand twenty-three. This is great. This is great. I like this. Check this out, man. This is totally awesome. So this is my spread out shirt once again. This is what I got. The Three Stooges spread out shirt. So I'll fold that up. Oh, I'm gonna show it. My parents don't like it. Alrighty then. That's all the time. That's all the time we have on this show. So that's it. Episode forty-one of Eric Lee's Shenanigans of nineteen seventy-seven. So please, Mister Announcer, take me home. That is all for today's episode. This is Mr. Lima speaking for Eric Lima Shenanigans of 1977. A big beefy E, do it for Bob Saget Production, and in association with a sweet bumbling bofo raver telepictures and distribution. See you next episode, and have a very blessed day. Don't forget to subscribe to the Democratizing Network for great more content like this one.